All eyes on one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Wickham Wanderers up against Watford. Thanks Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Jason McCarthy. Number six, Ryan. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, every defender goes into the game not wanting three goals in three games to be the player you're playing against, and that's the case today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the initial 11 for Watford. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Well, just went a bit too early, offside. Capu. Ismail Assar. Well, that's a super ball over the top. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. Fred on Yedinma. Throw-ins given. Wonderful tackle. Well, as far as the hosts are concerned, we know they like to press high when they can and try to win possession back swiftly. Lee, do you think it'll be that approach today? Yes, Derek, I do. It's a brave way of playing. It's a physical way of playing as well. Brave because you're committing a lot of men high up the pitch. Physical because all the players have to buy into it. He takes aim. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So now a corner. Well, he'd be disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. Over it comes, and heading it just over the bar. Yeah, he thinks he's in, he thinks he's scored, and it's just over the bar. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Dominic Gape. Fred on Yedinma. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender.
Ken Sima. It needs an accurate cross. Lovely work to get past his man. Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, they can keep possession now. I understand there's been a goal in the Stoke City game. Let's hear about that goal from Allen. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 70 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Allen. Went in strongly to win the ball. Dini. Hughes. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Just cutting off the supply. Couldn't keep it. Dini. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And then the sheer power of the strike. Really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. One nil then. Watford goal, number 29, Etienne Kapui. Thompson. Gabe. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, they've lost it. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Oh, in with a chance. Going for the dink. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, Derek, there's not much room for error in this one, but it's a perfect execution just to lift it over the keeper. Great goal. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's going their way, 2-0. Goal for Watford, number nine, Troy Deeney. Ismail Assar. And Hughes has it. Is it going to be? And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Watford Just look goal. at the scoreline. I believe there's been a goal in the Forest game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 31 minutes played. 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. It should be. Wonderful chip. And then fine goalkeeping. Well, he came off his line, knew what the player was going to do. Great save. Oh, he fancies his chances. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Can they slot it home? And they can't quite take advantage in the end. 
Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Dini. Did well to win the ball back. And news coming through of a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Brentford. 36 minutes played. 1 1. And he might be through here. Deary me, a golden chance missed. It might come back to haunt him. Well, you learn the script time and time again, and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Thompson. Dominic Gape. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. They've won back possession. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And plenty of room in the wide area. Can he put it away? It could be up for grabs. Wonderful block. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Gabe. They couldn't maintain possession. Seymour. Can they take advantage? And he's broken free. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game and attack lead. Yeah, he's carved out plenty of shooting opportunities, hasn't he? Testing the keeper on numerous occasions. Great performance up to now and rewarded with a goal. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And beyond the last defender, offside. Will he play it in? And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Played into the centre. Well, no threat posed by the cross. Able to deal with the threat. And Bayern have been very active in the transfer market and they've made a big move personnel-wise. Good news for their supporters, Lee. Well, Derek, a fee of around £95 million is what you've got to pay for quality these days. I think they're getting an absolute... Oh, big opportunity! Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the finish. I believe there's been a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday game. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Sheffield Wednesday. 53 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Dini. Femenia. It comes to nothing in the end. And a substitution in the offing. And now the delivery. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And news coming through of a goal on the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a second goal for Brentford. 
59 minutes played, 2-2. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Life is never dull in the Championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Wickham Wanderers facing Queen's Park Rangers. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Losing possession a bit easily. Gape. And continues his run. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Dini Femenia well, straight at the goalkeeper then and this really ought to be a championship game to savour it's live on EA TV it's Watford facing Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah Derek it should be a great atmosphere there it's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Substitution time as is here. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Couldn't keep the ball. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Chalaba. Chalaba, what's he going to do? And he takes it on. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. And he's fired over the corner. An important for him to remain calm. Thompson. Thank you. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Chalaba. Dini. Well, a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. Nicely cut out. And a pretty ordinary challenge. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Dominic Gape. And now they have the ball back. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And let's go to Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal in the Blackburn game, Alan. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. Nine minutes remain. 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. And taking it away. Etienne Capou. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Jason well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Dini. A real opening now. 
And foiled only by the crossbar. Not even close to troubling the goalkeeper. Well, no, I can see what he's trying to do. He just got the technique all wrong. He'll get another chance. Freeman. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Thompson, chance to cross, and he saw the situation developing. Etienne Capou. Chalaba might be able to set up the chance. Can he put it in? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And there it is, the final whistle, the story here, a victory for Watford. Lee, your overall assessment? Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game, and there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.